Hello, this is Anthony Bachalka from TakeOverPage1.com. Thanks for joining me for this short video where I'm going to run you through how to get the most out of our Age Domain Finder. The reason we designed the Age Domain Finder was to create an easy way to go out and find Age Domains that are, for, that are actually for sale and a process to easily buy them. Why is it important to consider buying an Age Domain? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Firstly, an age domain is looked upon as having more authority than a brand new domain. And when I say an age domain, I'm talking about a domain that's anywhere from several months to uh, many years old. Also, an age domain uh, sometimes can have backlinks already uh, set up for it. That's definitely a bonus. And sometimes an age domain can even have page rank, which is an absolute, an absolute huge bonus. So overall, by purchasing an age domain, you're going to get better ranking com as compared to a standard brand new domain. OK, let's start off with the front of the screen. We've got a home link that brings us back to this home page, uh, a search function here and the, a time zone to set. The reason we need to set a time zone is the age dom domain finder searches for age domains with GoDaddy. And these age domains are on an auction basis where there's an, a, an end time when the auction finishes. And when we do a search, you'll see that that time is going to be um, illustrated on the screen. So if we, if, if we don't have the correct time for where we are, the results we see aren't going to make much sense. So GMT is Greenwich Mean Time plus whatever you need to for your particular time zone. In the next version we're working on, we'll make this a bit easier for you where we'll have your actual um, the main cities for time zones. I'm in Melbourne, Victoria. I need to plus 11 to Greenwich Mean Time. Let's go ahead and do a search. Okay, this is our search screen. You'll see the auction types listed here. There's a buy now and you can search before I look in there. You can search via all the auction types or you can narrow it down. We usually go, suggest to go for the all types but I'll explain the major ones. The buy now auction is an auction where you can go in and buy that domain right now for whatever the price is showing. Bid is a type of auction where you can bid, a bit like eBay in a way. You can bid a price and you won't know if you've won until, until the auction's ended. The other major one is the offer. And this is where you go in and make an offer for that, for that domain. And this, the seller normally has a suggested price, but you can make an offer, whatever you like. And that owner will communicate with you via email, whether they'll accept your offer, if they want a bit more, etc. Most of the bargains we have found have been in the buy it now area. So I'll leave it set at all types. You can set a minimum and a maximum price. Probably worthwhile setting a maximum price uh, to filter out a lot of the information you'll get back. I'll leave that how it is for, na for now. The domain name, you can choose to have the domain name uh, contain or not contain the keyword that you place in here. I'm going to use an example of piano. I'm going to choose 100 results per page. I can choose to enable to sort the results back alphabetically. If I leave that, by default, it's going to be sorted by the closest ending auction first and then the auctions that are ending further down the track will be listed further down. So I suggest to leave it default and we've got a standard capture here to fill in. Okay, let's click search. Okay, you'll see a number of results down listed down here. I have it set for 100 result, results per page. You can see we've got at least five pages, so at least 500 keywords have come back, or sorry, domains have come back that are for sale that include the word piano in them. And I realize that's not particularly targeted. Necessarily, you might want more than that word in there. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But for now, we'll just have a quick run through and ignore the prices. They um, 
are quite expensive. We can, we can certainly find some, some bargains as we dig a bit deeper. What I wanted to show you here is when you hover over either the right hand side or the left, when you hover over a domain, you'll see the pop up screen that gives you a bit more information. So let's look at uh, beginnerspianomusic.com. When I hover over that, it's telling me it's a buy it now auction. That auction ends on the 8th of November. It's got the time it ends. You can see now why I need to have the right time zone, otherwise the time that's displayed won't be correct and I'll get excited to go and buy something and find that it's already been sold. Uh, it tells me the asking price, how many bids are currently there and sometimes a description. And if we wanted to we can click through to um, purchase and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Information on the side just has the current bid and the type of auction. Okay, let's put in a maximum price. Put thirty dollars and search again. The price is the price you're willing to pay for a domain will depend largely on what you need the domain for. If you're buying domains to build up a lot of content sites, you'll find a lot of bargains depending on the niche you're in. Around five dollars, we've certainly bought hundreds around that price. But if you're buying a domain name for your main business your main front business you might be prepared to find a domain name that's got a good page rank and has the exact keywords in it that you want and you might be prepared to pay five six hundred or more some go for many many thousands so it really just depends what you're looking for okay I put the thirty dollars in and you can see now we've we're down to one page of results for the word piano in in the domain name for under thirty dollars Just, okay, here's one down here. Teach me piano songs. That's a buy it now for $5. So you could go ahead and buy this, this one now for $5. Let's just click through and see what happens. Okay, you can see it's gone to us GoDaddy and it's not the standard screen of GoDaddy where, um, where you can buy these age dom domains. It's a separate area. And the software we've set up interfaces with that and the, the benefit of using the age domain finder rather than going to direct to Go, uh, GoDaddy, GoDaddy won't display some additional information we have uh, created such as page rank and the age of the domain. And there are pretty, pretty important things when you're searching for a domain if you've got that information, if you know if there is a page rank and how old it is, it's much easier to narrow down your search. Uh, if you went ahead, wanted to go ahead and buy this domain, you'd obviously check the domain name is the one you wanted. It tells you when the auction ends, um, and it's a buy it now. So we could buy it, buy now for five dollars. I'll just need to read the agreement there. Click to accept the agreement and confirm, and go ahead and pay. Be aware that if you buy a domain, and a an age domain, or uh, that's got a previous owner has, has that domain there is a period of two to three days after you click and agree to buy where the owner has the right to change their mind and not sell the domain if that happens and you've already paid your money GoDaddy refunds it straight back it's not a problem at all and we haven't yet had any where the owner has I don't believe unless Tim's had one I haven't anyway we haven't had anyone change their mind after putting it for sale for auction on GoDaddy and then saying no I actually want to keep it now but just bear in mind that you would need to click get page rank and the age for the domain in the results the reason it's showing is we've designed this so if you do a search within a reasonable amount of time and have asked for the page rank and um, the age of the domain for, for a certain keyword it remembers that and I actually did this search about an hour or so ago that's why some of them have already come in the information's there so normally it's not but we'll click that anyway 